what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be sharing some news i found out about the future of the jeepers creepers franchise as well as what victor salva's involvement is going to be moving forward so last year in 2017 we got our second entry in the jeepers creepers series jeepers creepers 3 was released finally after a 14 year wait it was released uh it, it was released on september 26th in 2000 17 yeah last year it was a one night fathom event one night showing it did so well that it actually got another release a week later october 4th another one night showing it made a total gross of around two million dollars that one night of those with those two nights combined and then it ended up going on to make three million dollars do domestically it made an extra two million dollars for as far as international sales is concerned and then it had like one million dollars for um, home release video income so all in all it made somewhere around a total of five and a half to six million dollars which is the lowest income out of all three jeepers creepers 3 does have the weakest narrative it has the weakest execution it has the weakest uh characters it has the weakest acting the weakest effects it has the weakest everything uh the movie is shot horribly the movie has bad effects the acting is is, is atrocious uh the main lead played by gabrielle hall she is atrocious um uh, I believe she was actually I did some research on her I think she ended, I think she lost a role on a soap opera because of her acting I think I don't think that's why she lost the role but I think like when she left I was reading uh, news of how people were actually excited that she had left because her acting was dull and stale and I found that out personally firsthand when I saw Jeepers Creepers 3 in theaters now originally Jeepers Creepers 3 was supposed to take place 23 years after the first two movies and it was going to have Gina Phillips and Ray Wise return reprising their roles of Farmer Taggart and Trish Jenner from the first and second films. They were going to team up and they were going to hunt and take out the Creeper. Uh, Trish was going to have a son named after Derry who died all those years ago. The Creeper was going to awaken. It was going to pick up right where Jeepers Creepers 2 left off. I believe Luke Edwards was also set to come back and play Jack Jr. It, that the premise for that movie that's what fans have been waiting for for all these years not the jeepers creepers 3 that we got last year this jeepers creepers takes place in between the first and second film it follows a task force that is trying to hunt the creeper down and take it out uh, this movie raises this movie raises several plot holes and plot device several plot devices are, are introduced and it introduces several continuity issues as far as what's going on in the first two movies. It raises several questions as far as the intelligence level of the Creeper. Because the Creeper is shown to be highly, highly skilled and intelligent. But the third entry makes you kind of a bit skeptical because there's something going on that makes the audience, someone, someone who's paying attention anyway, if you're paying attention, you can't help but wonder, well, why didn't he do this in the first movie? Why didn't he do this in the second movie? Why is he just now concerned with this now? It raises several questions because Jeepers Creepers 3 was rushed. Um, from what I was told, rumors were told that it was rushed. Victor Salvin didn't get enough, didn't get to spend enough time actually investing in a proper script for what he wanted to do. They did not have enough money to shoot the original intent for the third film, so that's why it does not pick up 23 years later. That is now the plan. Jeepers 4, in my honest opinion, I think Jeepers 3 was just a test run to see if audiences still had an interest in the creeper and i guess they found out that the answer is yes in more ways than one because to go into theaters one day with little to no promotion and make a million dollars that has to say something uh but yeah a friend of mine actually was able to sit down with victor salva at one of the con events this summer and he spent like several hours with victor he says that victor was very humble humble victor was very open generous he was one of the kindest people one of the kindest people he had met at the event uh Despite all the controversy surrounding Victor Salva and all his past heinous actions, though I do not condone whatsoever, uh, you can look those up for yourself on Google. You can look up the backlash as to why Jeepers Creepers 3 was delayed for so long and why even when it got it was getting filmed and why even after it was filmed, people were pushing for it to not be released. People were pushing for it to just be shut down and forgotten about. Uh, now that I think about it, I honestly would say that maybe that's what should have happened because the Jeepers Creepers 3 that they filmed was absolute trash. The effects in it, like I said, were terrible. The acting was terrible. It raised several questions as far as what what is the creeper doing and why is like why is he doing it now it, it was just a complete nonsensical written script of uh, the characters are bland the task force itself has uh, one of the it 
the task force has an issue that was introduced in Jeepers Creepers 2. It seems that with each film, uh, we see that there are more characters that are out there that are aware that this thing hunts every 23 years for 23 days. Now, with Giselle, the interesting thing with Giselle and the reason they made that sensible is because it was established that Giselle was a psychic, a local psychic in the area. Everyone else after Giselle just for some strange reason is granted access to know about the Creepers mythos and this task force, they don't even, they aren't even said to have gotten any visions or anything. They claim that they had an interaction with the Creeper and that's why they have banded together to take it out. But just because you haven't, since when does having an interaction with something grant you access to its mythos? Why do they all know that this thing comes out every 23rd spring and it feeds for 23 days? Just because they had one little interaction with this thing, it granted them access to all of the knowledge and mythos surrounding the entity. That's highly ridiculous, and that's one of my biggest gripes with the Creeper. How everyone seems to know that he comes out every 23rd spring for 23 days, and it seems like this is something that gets spread around the town. Uh, now, my friend was able to find out that Jeep Victor Salva has plans to do a TV series for Jeepers Creepers. Uh, apparently, it's, it would be a series that would run for 12 episodes. Now, I would like to see a 12-episode miniseries following uh, either the, the story development of Kenny, Kenny Brandon and Darla, the Kenny and Darla couple from the first film. Actually, they, get ex they, they don't get explored a bit more in the third movie. Kenny Brandon's character, he is in the third movie. Kenny Brandon, however, is, is transformed into a white Caucasian. If you recall in the original film, Kenny Brandon was discovered in the basement cellar of the church by Derry, and he was an African-American male dating a white Caucasian female named Darla. They were the prom king and queen of the uh, night class of 1978 in that uh, in the town nearby and they had gone missing and it became an urban legend that and it became a story that everyone grew to know for the past 23 years since the creepers last uh, killing spree I would like to see a series exploring that and maybe like a mini series that would be a nice introduction because after watching that you could watch the original Jeepers Creepers film and then in Jeepers Creepers uh, Jeepers Creepers 4 my friend found out that for Jeepers Creepers 4 uh, or before I go into Jeepers Creepers 4, let me talk about the last bit of news I have on the mini series. For the mini series, they wanted to also do. Uh, I heard Victor Salva wants to executive produce. He does not want to direct, but Victor Salva has written uh, a screenplay for the mini series or for the TV series that he has in mind. Similar to how I think it could work. Similar to how what the Purge is doing. The Purge is having like a ten episode. A 10 episode event so I think is what's happening is gonna be one episode a week I think that's what it sounds like Salva would like to see happen with uh, this TV series script he has for Jeepers Creepers uh, now another thing that I would consider as a plot or story that I would like to see hopefully he has written for the miniseries is just past like each episode could follow a different group of people that the creeper has targeted or focused on or like like the first five episodes could be about one group of people targeted by the creeper or the in the second half could be about another or each episode could just focus on mythos surrounding the creeper its origins we see how long the creeper's been around each episode could take place at a different time period that would also be something interesting i would like to see of course where I would see a TV series for Jeepers Creepers fall, and I could see it falling either on Netflix, Shudder, or the Sci-Fi Channel. Uh, that does not mean I wanted to have the Sci-Fi Sci-Fi editing team on board because Sci-Fi's editing team is responsible for the terrible CGI that we got in Jeepers Creepers 3. I looked up her name, Misty Taylor. If you look up her works, you can see her works are nothing but straight Sci-Fi films. So that's why the minute I saw her and I looked her up and I saw her film history. I was I already knew I was in for some terrible effects with Jeepers Creepers 3 and that's exactly what I got uh, but moving on to news on a fourth entry into the series my friend was also able to find out that Victor Salva does have a script written we actually found this out from Gina Phillips Gina Phillips revealed I think right before Jeepers Creepers 3 came out that the script is written is ready to go Victor Salva does have the fourth film ready to go. Uh, Gina Phillips shared details last year. She said that it's going, it is still the, it's the plan of what the original third film is going to be. It's going to follow Trish Jenner. Trish Jenner will be back. Uh, my friend sat down with Victor Salva, and I think what he also told me was that Victor Salva does not want to be, um, he does not want to direct, but he hopes to at least 
be a uh, executive producer so what what it sounds to me like what my friend has told me it sounds like Victor Salva is going to have as little involvement with this film as possible just so there's not as much negativity around it uh me personally I'm just still concerned as to where Victor Salva is going to get this funding from because Jeepers Creepers 3 did not make that much in the box office uh and the money that you make from films gets gets split and divided up and it gets sent to everyone who helped contribute to making the project possible. So how much left does he even have from the income that Jeepers Creepers 3 made? Uh, I want to say people that I would like to see finance the film and distribute it would be A24 and uh, Universal Pictures is out. I know Lionsgate was one of the one of the companies they were trying to get for Jeepers Creepers 3. Of course, that was a bust. I would like to see the company that that financed Hereditary get involved potentially. Something of l the low budget caliber that wouldn't be uh, as as big of a uh, big of a hindrance for that company because they wouldn't be a very well known company themselves. Uh, but also at the same time, something that could provide Jeepers Creepers 4 with the proper financing that it would need to execute the 23 years later follow-up from the first three films taking place in 2024 with the return of Trish Jenner. Uh, Gina Phillips, I think, also did confirm that the plan is still to keep Trish Jenner in it with a child. Now, whether this is going to be a son or a daughter is up in the air now. Uh, I believe it's still going to be a son. I think it's still going to be named Derry. Ray Wise is, he is in plans to return. That's something else my friend found out. Ray Wise is uh, planned to return. Gina Phil is Ray Wise, and I believe also Luke Edwards is uh, w the three main people that are they are targeting to have as the three key factors for the fourth film. Uh, I would like to also see Giselle. I would like to see Giselle return. Giselle from the first movie. I would like to see her return and play a factor in, in the Creeper's final downfall or the downfall or in the defeat of the Creeper. Uh, now, as far as if the Creeper should die in Jeepers Creepers 4, I'm going to say no. I What I would like to see is I would like to see something fine because in the original Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral script, you, it, you don't find out what it is per se. You instead find out that it has been in this in that area of Poho County in East Nine has been there for several years and decades or at least it's had several encounters in the past in that area and uh, old Poho settlers called it a Phoenix demon if I'm not mistaken that's what they called it you still do not find out what exactly it is you still what you instead find out is other people had encounters with it and this is what they called it you don't actually find out what it exactly is because i i actually like that i don't think we should find out what the creeper is because that still keeps it in mystery we're not getting everything hand we're not finding out everything we're not destroying the full-on mystery of it we're just finding out the, that the creeper he had a a name for people of past in that area had a name for it and they called it a phoenix demon uh I would like to see Brandon Smith's character, Sergeant Tubbs, return. As far as characters from Jeepers Creepers 3 outside of Brandon Smith are concerned, I don't not I don't want to see any of the Brandons return. Uh, if they do return, I want to say bring back Meg Foster. Do not bring back Addison. If you bring back Addison, uh, only thing I can hope for is that, of course, this would mean she would be played by someone else because Addison is going to have to be aged. Uh, I just wouldn't, I I honestly wouldn't even mention Jeepers Creepers 3 and Jeepers Creepers 4. I would ignore Jeepers Creepers 3 as if it didn't even exist. I would give Jeepers Creepers 3 the Halloween 3 season of the witch treatment. How many people do not even acknowledge the existence of Halloween 3 because everyone's so invested in the character of Michael Myers. I would ignore the narrative in Jeepers Creepers 3 because everyone's more invested in the proper consistent narrative introduced in the first and second film and now it's going to be continued in the fourth film. That's how I see Jeepers Creepers 3 ending up. I would much rather Jeepers Creepers 4 ignore the, the messy, inconsistent narrative in Jeepers Creepers 3 and just pick up from Jeepers Creepers 2 with Ray Wise character Jack Sr. in the barn. Uh, I would like to see what happens with Gina Phillips' character Trish. I would like to see what happens with the Creeper. Also, I don't know if anyone else noticed this, but 
they don't explain this in the cathedral script, but the creeper's wings were cut off at the end of the second film. So it's going to be very interesting to see if they explain how he actually gets his wings back. Now, before anyone posts something ridiculous in the comments section about how Ray Wise's character stitched them back, stitching stitching uh, removed limbs doesn't make them uh, doesn't mean you can have full function of them again. That just means they're stitched. You just got it stitched back there. That doesn't mean you can use it again because it's been removed from the socket and. It's been removed from the uh, capacity to have any function. Any function. So stitching wings back doesn't give it, doesn't give you functions to use it. It's going to be very interesting to see how the creeper gets his wings back, or if they even address that at all. I would also, if they're going to bring back the truck, they better make it just like how it was in the first film, and that's simply a truck because Jeepers Creepers 3's um, illustration of the truck is downright ridiculous it raises several questions like i said as far as the narrative is concerned because the truck is doing things that we never even see in the first film and the reason it's ridiculous is because the third film takes place immediately after the first film so it makes you wonder where was all of this stuff in the first movie and why are we just seeing this now but yeah those are the things I found out about Jeepers Creepers 4 from my friend who had the chance to meet Victor Salva at one of the Comic-Con or con events over the summer. He he held a few autograph signings with Victor. He spent several hours with Victor. He said Victor Salva was one of the more well-respected human beings that he's met over the course of the past few years. Victor Salva does have remorse for his actions. Again, like I said, you can go look those look those things up for yourself on Google. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you want to see a Jeepers Creepers 4? What do you want to see in Jeepers Creepers 4? What characters do you want to return in Jeepers Creepers 4? And would you kill the Creeper in Jeepers Creepers 4? Or would you leave the ending of the series open for discussion? Uh, please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Turn on post notifications and stay tuned for more because I will be doing future videos pretty soon. Uh, leave comments down below of movie of horror movies you want me to watch and review and those will be included in my future uploads.